is there. The, the first book I wrote, the editor turned it down. They made me wait like six months, and then she called me and said, Pearl, I hate to tell you this, but this is the worst book I've ever read. <laughs> Literally, the worst book I've ever read. And I know you're probably thinking, I'll take it to another publisher, but don't do it. Because if anyone publishes it, you'll never write professionally again. I said, damn. <laughs> you couldn't tell me any better than that. You have to talk to me like this. So if she hated the book, I, I didn't have an agent. I had just sent it because they asked me if I wanted to write a novel. I wrote the book. I sent it in. So I finally, I, my friends who were writers said, you need an agent to talk to them about this. So I got an agent. The agent said, send me the book. And if I like it, I'll get somebody else to buy it. Don't worry about that. So she liked it. She sold it like in one day to somebody else. And I didn't have to change anything. And so that the, the reason that I like that story is that if you ever have somebody tell you this is the worst thing ever and you really love it, don't believe them. It probably is the best thing, you know, that, and you know that. And whoever you read it to who loved it and cried knows that. So don't believe a stranger who says, worst ever. You know, believe the people that you are reading this play to. Believe the people that are telling you um, what you believe because they, that little slice of Manhattan could be wrong. You know, of course, when Oprah picked that book that was the worst book, I would never write professionally again. All my girlfriends called me and said, I hope you call that editor. <laughs> But the universe doesn't like it when you close, so you have to just keep that to yourself. <laughs>